today I'm working on a little cartoon called Speckles. He's uh, one of my little creations I sort of play with occasionally. Uh, starting out, we're going to do my normal circle. Then we start drawing some of the top of his face. Uh, then we do the eyeballs. A little bit of curl there, a little bit of curl there, and a little bit of nose. And then we're going to throw in some ears. There we go. Ah, another ear. Got to have another one. And then we throw in a little hair. And a few speckles. And just a little bitty eyeball. Uh, this is sort of a little different from what I normally do. I normally do caricatures and portraits, but sometimes I have a little fun. Uh, do a bear. Might do a rabbit. Uh, okay, I've got to use head started now. Let's do just a little bit on the body, trying to figure out exactly where to crank up on him. He's... Uh, just a touch overweight. He's probably been eating too much honey or something. I'm not sure what it is. But he keeps getting these things in the mail. We're not really sure how or where they're coming from. But you'll you'll see what he's getting in the mail here in just a minute. He'll he'll hold it up for you. He goes out and he checks his mailbox every day and yeah, for those that no, remember what a mailbox is. <laughs> most most get email now. Occasionally we get what they call snail mail. Uh, well, he goes out to his mailbox and checks it out. And, well, you'll see what he gets here in a minute. Oh, we're here at the beginning. Oh, there's a little bit of it. And a little bit more. And uh, it looks like it's got a little head and a little, little beak. Hmm. Maybe that's a rubber chicken. Who knows? Um, and now we got to do some feet. A little bit of foot over there, feet over there. You know, he's got two feet. Well, actually, he's got four feet, but he's sort of playing like two of them's hands in this one. And. Uh, Got to blacken in his britches there just a little bit. He's in, he's from Tennessee, so we call pants britches. See where's his britches? I think they call it the old Kentucky too. Yeah, what I'm using here is a it's a Prisma. That's yeah, one of my favorite pencils. It's uh, Prisma Ebony. Prisma Color Ebony. Very dark lead in it, very soft. And very good for this type of work. I use it for caricatures, uh, portraits, a little bit of everything. And sort of working in his feet just a little bit now. Gonna do some work on his shirt. I've got his hand over there. Then I use what we call a kneaded eraser and go back in and remove some of the uh, extra lines I don't need. Uh, do clean up. You can shape your eraser around just about any way you want to when it's needed. And then I come back and darken in the lines. Usually take the bottom of the lines and make, the, make those bolder. And the reason why is to show weight. Usually the darker they are at the bottom, the, more, the heavier it looks. And now I'm doing a little shadowing, some shading, coloring in his uh, his shirt. It's a little darker. Normally his shirt's red, but this one's black and white, so it's gonna it's gonna come out a gray color. A 
And I gotta give it a some earth. Give him something to stand on. One of the things about sketching, uh, you're all over the paper, and the reason why is to balance out, to fix things here, balance it there, lighten it up there. You may need to darken a spot like an easier there. I was darkening that up a little bit. And of course, he's wondering why he's getting these things in the mail. Yeah, we are almost done. Come back with a burnishing tool, do some shadow, smooth out some of the uh, uh, some of the lines. Gives it a more of a three D look. And most of these, most of the same principles are used in uh, just about any portrait, a caricature, a sketch, uh, even a sketch of a truck. I mean, you would do almost the same thing. And some of the things you always have to do, you got to sign it. Yeah, unless it's really bad. <laughs> then you wad it up and throw it in the trash. Or strike a match to it. Or use it for kindling. Put it in the fireplace. Mail it to somebody. And that's it. <laughs>